I'm reminded of the story of Israelites when they were in Egypt and God through the blood of the Lamb which was symbolic of the blood of Jesus our Savior sets them free from Egypt he protects them from the death of the firstborn yet when they were relieved and sent off from Egypt Pharaoh and all of his army was still intact the Bible says they walked out from Egypt with boldness with singing tambourines songs of praise finally 300 years 330 years of slavery is done with um, and we are going to go forward into the promised land but their, their joy was soon turned into a deep deep despair when they started to hear the noises of chariots and the horses right behind them and they recognized the Pharaoh was not coming to give them gifts they recognized that the army of Egyptians is not coming to say final goodbye they recognize Pharaoh is coming and he looks angry he has this Facebook status mad ready to kill and Israel does what every Christian always do oh God why did you oh God why went from God you're so awesome two minutes ago to God your soul why did you do this and that's not people of faith who do that and they start to complain and complain and complain and complain and God said something very interesting God said to Israel go forward imagine you have an enemy in front behind you you cannot go forward fast enough he will catch up there's no way around it and the worst part is you can't go forward because in front of you is a sea and that's how always we feel when we have a sickness in our body I can't go forward I can't walk by faith I'm in pain I can't walk in purity I'm addicted I can't walk with God why I have this thing on me called laziness and it keeps me I have this battle with the blankets every morning I can't go on I want you to notice God is not going to ask you to do something that's always easy God didn't say I'm going to kill the Egyptians open the Red Sea and then you walk God says no he says you begin to walk I will open the sea and as the sea was open the Bible says as they walked through this impossible situation God drowned the enemy in the place that was so impossible for them to walk through as you walk God will deal with your past many times we say no God please I want to deal with my Pharaoh and then I will commit myself to God I want to deal with my issues and then I will commit myself to the purposes of God the funny part is that you will not be able to deal with Pharaoh he's stronger than you the only way is to let God deal with your Pharaoh as you obey God and let God mess with your past can somebody say amen And so many of us, people who say things like, I need to first deal with this, I need to work with this, I need to fix this, I need to fix that, and then I will commit myself to the obedience of God. The problem with that is by the time you're done, you're gone. Pharaoh will have you for his lunch. He is stronger than you. You can't beat your past. If you would, you would have done it a long time ago. You would have never been captured by it. Don't tell me you are going to deal with your past. If you would be able to, you wouldn't have a past. You can't deal with it on your own. The only way is not to turn back to deal with something in the past. But sometimes, honestly, let the past scream and yell and holler at you. You simply go forward. Even when going forward seems like going to a sea, you go forward. <laughs> 